everything that's right goes right. You know, the little tomato seeds you and Nancy plant in your garden, how they grow into nice red tomatoes. So I guess I'm filming in my bathroom because it's the only room in my house that's available presently. Fuck, I don't like this lighting. This ain't gonna work. Mm, not gonna work for me. I'm too lazy to go get my tripod, which is out in the car. So this is gonna work. I'm kind of running myself thin here trying to find cool stuff around my town. I feel like I've hit up all the cool spots. At least the spots that I have available to me. There's a whole bunch of neat buildings that I just can't get into. Um, but all the ones that I can or I know of, I already have. So the only option that I have at this point is to drive around and look elsewhere. And today I found myself in Missouri. We were driving down a county road when I saw this building. And it looked promising. I thought that I could get inside. But it turns out every window, every door, every nook and cranny was completely locked or boarded up. It was impossible. And I have this general rule of thumb with this where if I can't get in without breaking something, then I just don't go in. It's like the one moralistic rule that I have with this is I don't want to mess anything up. Like if I go in a place, I want to leave it unscathed. I want to leave it exactly the way that I entered it. And you can't do that if the only way to get into a building is to break a window or kick a door in or something. So I just don't. I wandered around the property and I got a whole bunch of really neat photos, but I, you can't really experience the soul of a building unless you can get inside of it. Get inside the guts. Ew. You got me all fucking like thinking about how I'm talking. And you talk different. Like your inflection's different. You have like a different... You have a different cadence to your voice, like, entirely. Yeah, because usually I just want to be fluid, and I can't be. I did that for a while, um, but I couldn't get inside, so I had to hit the road again. So let's see what else we can find. And that's when I found the Mecca. It's when I found the greatest thing that I found in, in months. It was all right. Oh, come on. That place was baller. This place was dope. It looked like somebody had either just picked up and left, like randomly for no reason, or what's more likely is that some old person owned it and died and then the next of kin just did nothing with it. When we got inside the building, which by the way, that is, that's a whole thing in and of itself, because there was a wall that was like halfway, like starting to fall over, but there was a, an open window to get inside, which meant I didn't have to break my rule, I could get inside without breaking anything. Kind of. Because as I was walking inside, my foot hit the sill, and the wood there was just completely rotted away, and I snapped the windowsill. Which I still feel bad about, uh, because it's not really, like, like I said, it makes, me, it makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong. You okay? Did you just go through the floor? Yeah, come back over here. Just like all these other properties that I go to, you can tell that at one time, this was somebody's pride and joy. The, the window sills were all ornate and handmade. It was sitting on farm property that looked like it was still relatively well kept. There were no animals or, or vegetation or anything, but the lawn looked relatively mowed beyond the yard. Like the yard itself was completely overgrown, but the farm seemed like someone was doing work. When we got to the kitchen, we opened up one of the drawers and there were still groceries in there from like, I don't know, probably the 70s, I would imagine. The, the logos on the boxes looked very 70s to me. There was a completely pink room 
uh, which made me uncomfortable for some reason. I don't know what it was about that room specifically, uh, but the color of the walls mixed with the light shining in and like the weird selection of TV sitting in the corner, the whole thing just made me feel uncomfortable. I got a bunch. I want to do it. Okay. Move. Mind <laughs> focus. Hold on. Walk up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm letting you do your thing. You're in it. Oh? Basically, Cody got cool picks, like this one, and this one, and that one, and even that one, and maybe even that one. Just made me have to edit like <laughs> yeah made your job way harder <laughs> we finished that stuff up and uh we were both really hungry so we were gonna check out this fried chicken joint but it turns out they only serve food on fridays so that didn't happen and then we were gonna go to a different restaurant but they only served food on thursdays it's neither one of those days today so we decided to go to mount pleasant iowa which ended up being significantly further away than i thought it was i thought it was I what? just realized you do another really weird thing. What? Every single time, and I never like can see because in your videos, you're it's like from here up. But he literally, when he talks to the camera, he goes. He's you're you're like hunched over like this. It's only because with one arm here, and then with this arm, as you talk, you go. <laughs> well, not, usually, I'm not kidding. It's, it's a nervous tick, but usually when I'm filming, I'm well, no, sitting I'm right saying there, like you usually, but the lamp is here for I, some I'm reason. I'm saying like you usually can't see because your videos are cropped from here up, but I always see you do that motion in your videos, but now watching you stand when you do it, he's literally standing like this, and as he talks, he's going... Got the fucking peanut gallery over here. Sit down. Anyway, we decided to go to Mount Pleasant to get dinner. There was this restaurant that was suggested to us called Kios. Um, but we got there about 45 minutes before they opened, and here's the thing about Rebecca. <laughs> she sat here and criticized my, my video personality, I guess, for the last however fucking long I've been trying to do this. Um, have you guys seen that meme that's like, uh, when your girl hungry, and it's like a fucking wolf snarling, and then it's like, when you, when your girl eat, and then it's like it's like a happy little puppy. Like I swear to God, that is her to a fucking T. What? Do you want me to strangle you? What are you? Stop! What? <laughs> I want to kill you. <laughs> oh fuck! As the minutes wore on, she got more and more hostile. Hostile. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to go away. I'm never going to get through this. Finally, though, we got dinner. It was amazing. And, and that was pretty much the whole day, really. Uh, I'm hoping to hit the road relatively soon. Um, my mom guilted me into attending her Thanksgiving dinner this week. Oh. You want to go, you dummy. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm hoping to be on the road by this weekend, hopefully, if all things go well. I'm gonna go to Arkansas first, um, and then you know we'll see from there. I have some grandparents that live down there, and my aunt lives down there, and they can show me around and show me a bunch of cool stuff that I might not otherwise find. So be prepared for that, because that's coming. This I I I don't know if this is gonna be the last vlog before then. Probably not. Just knowing how much I'm enjoying doing this stuff again. It's weird because I went through several years where doing videos was like a chore and I wasn't having fun with it anymore. Uh, and I'm, I'm back into this mode where I'm really fucking excited to do it. Like when I get a chance to make something, it's, it's really awesome. I think I'm, I'm going to attribute a lot of that to a couple things. First one being this new camera because I have to learn it. Uh, second being I actually have like a project, you know. When it's just me bitching at a camera, it's not really a project. And once the news story goes away, it stops being interesting or relevant. This is this is more something that I feel like in five or six years I can reflect upon and still enjoy it. So I feel like it's a nice mesh of all the things I do in one thing, one medium here. So anyway, uh, 
see ya. Hi, I'm Cody. I take pictures with my camera. <laughs> Wait. Hi, I'm Cody, and I like to take pictures with my camera. I don't know why I put up with you. Would you rather me lie to you and say that you're totally the same on camera versus off camera? Or would you rather me be honest? Okay, look, hold on. Would my videos be just as interesting to you guys if when I was talking I was just kind of like, hey, uh, we went to this abandoned house or whatever and it was pretty cool? No, there's a difference between being. A I had good a pretty good time. Hey. Hold on. A, hey. Hey. Hold on. No. You know, like, we went and got dinner or whatever. It's, it's fine. <sighs> Is that is that exciting to you? Is that fun? There's or is it more fun when I'm fucking animated and articulate and and I, I'm trying to fucking Hey, you can be a good storyteller and articulate without embellishing stories. What did I embellish with the story like, today? There's a big difference. What did I embellish? There's a big what did I embellish? Listen. What did I embellish? I'm done with you. I don't even care. Make your stupid video. Baby. Thank you, shut up. See ya. I want to kill you. <laughs> oh, fuck.